Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay right here with the sensation of the breathing as the breath comes in, as the breath goes out. Try to make this your default place to be. When the mind doesn't have any other responsibilities, it should come back here, because this is the home for the mind, right here in the present moment. Anything in the past or the future, that's just a place you can travel for a bit. But you can't stay there for long. You have to come back here. The problem is, most of us, when we come back here, it's not very pleasant, so we find someplace else to go. We don't see anything interesting here, we don't see anything comfortable, so we go someplace else. But if you work with the breath, change the breath to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now, you can actually create a pleasant place to stay here in the present moment. So the mind doesn't have to depend on things outside for its goodness. It can depend on something inside. This is when you can trust yourself a lot more, because the world outside is very undependable. The things outside are aging is normal, illness is normal, death is normal, separation is normal. These things happen all over the world all the time. And so when you're placing your happiness out there, you're placing it on something very unstable. You place it inside, though, and you create some stability inside. You have more control over this. And your mind can be at normalcy in the midst of all that other normalcy, not get knocked out of balance. Because if the mind is knocked out of balance, its sense of right and wrong, north and south, east and west, gets all screwed up. You start doing things and saying things that you really wish you hadn't done. It's because you're leaning over in one direction. You're either leaning to what you like or you're leaning to what you don't like. In other words, you're leaning on some hatred, or you're leaning on delusion, or you're leaning on fear. When the mind is leaning this way, it can't see right can't see straight. So you've got the, got the mind so it's stable right here, at normal C right here. So it can see clearly what's north and south, what's right and wrong. And have the strength within in order to do that, what's right, to abandon what's wrong. Because it's the position of your mind that makes all the difference in the world. You can have all kinds of pleasant things come into you all the time, but if your mind is not in a good position, then you can use those things to destroy itself. On the opposite hand, if things go bad outside, if the mind is in good shape, it, it doesn't suffer. Everything depends on the training of the mind, bringing your mind to a place where it can be at normalcy. Right here with the breath. The breath comes in, it feels good. breath goes out, it feels good. And there's no need to go outside to search for little snacks here and there to satisfy your hunger. There's a sense of food here in this mind as well. You feel well nourished by that sense of well-being. So the mind, when the mind does need to go out, it goes out, but it has a good place to stay. And John Lee's image is having a good airstrip. You take off and you know where you can go back to. If you take off but you forget where the airstrip is, then you end up crashing down in the hills. So make sure you've got a good airstrip. You've got a good home base here where you can stay. Make it a good place to stay, so your mind can be at normal. So you look at the world around you, lots of things are changing all the time now. A lot of reasons for people to get upset, people to get worried. But you have to realize, okay, what's really important in the world is not the things outside, it's the state of the goodness of your own mind. And that's something you can take care of from within. So this at least can be solid. The king once, once came to see the Buddha, and the Buddha asked him, where are you coming from, king? The king said, well, the typical things that people crazy about power do. And the Buddha says, suppose someone to come from the east and say there's this huge mountain moving in from the east, crushing all living beings in its wake. Another man, reliable, would come from the south and say there's a mountain moving in from the south. Another man from the west, there's another mountain moving in from the west. Another man comes from the north saying there's a mountain moving in from the north, crushing all living beings. Given this terrible destruction of life, and considering that human life is so precious, what would you do? And the king said, what else got to do? Calm my mind, practice the Dharma. And Buddha said, well, I tell you, king, aging, illness, and death, separation, they're all moving in. What are you going to do? Well, calm my mind and practice the Dharma. It doesn't matter who's riding the mountains or which mountain gets there first. The mountains are moving in, so you want to keep your mind calm and practice the Dharma, because the Dharma that you practice, the goodness that you practice inside, that, that goes with you. So make sure that what you've got inside here is good. And that takes care of everything outside as well. 